Burton W. Abbott was convicted and sentenced to death for the rape and murder of Stephanie Bryan, a 14-year-old girl in California in 1955. Although the evidence against him was entirely circumstantial, Abbott was found guilty and executed in March 1957. The case sparked controversy about the state's right to execute a person based on circumstantial evidence alone. Stephanie Bryan was last seen on April 28, 1955, and a large-scale search failed to find her. In July, personal effects belonging to the victim were found in the basement of the home Abbott shared with his wife and mother, leading to the discovery of her body in a shallow grave near the family's cabin. At trial, the prosecution argued that Abbott had attempted to rape the victim and killed her when she resisted. All evidence was circumstantial, and Abbott maintained his innocence. Despite a lack of direct evidence, the jury found him guilty and the judge imposed the death sentence. After an appeal to the Supreme Court of California, Abbott was executed in the gas chamber at San Quentin, 